We covered this anime in a trailer reaction where this dude is in a magic academy and can't use magic, but he has a little secret. He got a sword. It didn't do too well. I was expecting my audience to not really care about this anime. Hopefully it does well. I do love the whole premise of, you know, a dude that gets, you know, outcasted because he can't do this thing, but he has this other thing that he's really good at. It's like a typical cliche, a formula that works so great in building up hype. I hope this anime is great. I hope that you guys on the YouTube side will enjoy it. Let's check out episode one. Regarding Magical Academy. Magic, duh. The animation is pretty crisp. Then you're trash. Dungeon Floor 7. Yo, the combat! Clean, right? Dude, dude, this is like really good in terms of just like pure animation. Of all the animes we've seen so far this season, uh, Oshinoko is obviously great, but like I'm talking like combat stuff like that. There's too many shitty isekai with CGI combat, but this is like pretty clean, huh? That's right, my man's gonna be sword style only. Native isekai map. Wow, it's it's a little bit cooler. It's it's there's a huge tower in the middle. There's like these circle lines, but anyways. Balka or Agni dust. Sulfur. Alright, already we got some important characters. This guy seems to be the villain. Just I I don't know. He just looks annoyed. He's twirling his hair. Who knows? Long girl, orange hair girl. Oh. Will is us? Kiki familiar. Sixth year academy students. Prof is so imposing. That is the most aggressive ahoge I've ever seen in my life. Look at this hair, bro. Like an ahoge is basically a little cowlick at the top of a hair, usually for girls, if you're a cute appeal. But this dude's cowlick is like as long as a single bang here, man. God damn. Are we gonna fuck up because we don't know how to use magic? Like, look how long that is! Holy! Conjure the flame, magic time. And the prof knows we can't use magic and he forces him to do it? And then we get embarrassed over and over? Yikes. How did he even get accepted in with no magic talent? Okay. So, book learner. Bro doesn't know how to use magic, but he's very good at like pract- not, uh, no, not practical tests, but like a written test, takes a lot of notes, written stuff like that. And the prof is like, just upset. He just- he just hates us, bro. You're an honor student when it comes to doing note taking. Damn. Give me a break. Whatever. Yeah, there's magic. You can already tell this is the cocky motherfucker that we gotta get revenge on later. I hate these kids already. Oh. Yes, sir. Not a swordsman. Yes, like, like, we could have had a one on one conversation. Why are you just crucifying me in front of the whole classroom? This is unreasonable. Like, Jesus Christ, this is just bullying from the teacher. Get out. Yikes. Well, that already kind of sets the premise. If you don't got magic, you're trash. You'll get picked on. You're a loser. Our heroes are only mages. No swordsmen allowed. I wonder. In the past, if there's been other swordsmen, like, like maybe they're like insecure, right? It's, it's like magic supremacy only. Also, here's, a, here's another funny thing. Um, when I was in high school, I never really thought about it, but there was a lot of teachers that would like pick fights with kids, right? 
or like like teachers was like personal beef with kids and then in high school i wasn't able to kind of be aware at that moment but after i graduated college or in college i was like thinking to myself i was like yo these are grown-ass adults and they're like 40s having personal beef with like 13 year old kids and i'm like this is ridiculous there were grown-ass adults that had nothing better to do but, like, bully and pick on, like, 13-year-old kids. Like, they are their ops. Like, their biggest obstacle in life. Every day they wake up just, like, to hate on 13-year-old kids. And I thought about that concept. I'm like, damn. Yo, those teachers are actual fucking losers, man. Like, straight up. Like, what are you doing as a grown-ass man or woman in your 40s having beef with, like, a 12-year-old kid? <sighs> All right, this is the bully trio. We got Sion in the middle. We already know him. Gordon bought it. They're all six years, huh? Little Marze. Okay. Very familiar voice actor. None of them knows he can use a sword. Oh. Oh, I feel a slap coming. Whenever an anime girl start walking like this with you can't see their eyes, I feel a slap coming. I was wrong. I thought that she would slap. So he mentioned a true honor student, huh? A real honor student. I'm gonna, I wonder how many honor students there are. So Will is an honor student purely by taking notes and being good at written tests. Other people are, are jealous. The teacher just sees him as trash. And this is a true honor student here. Orange girl. Koret. <laughs> Friends only? <laughs> Damn. Magia Vendor. Sate. Title? Please. Edward Sensei,もどうかしてるわ。あんな風に笑い物にするなんて。Oh, you just gonna call her cute like that? She gonna get gushed. <laughs> oh no, he just said it. I think it's getting us very far. Not only you. Okay. Objectively, you are so cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so impressed with how smooth the entire animation here is. Even just like random is talking, seeing her getting embarrassed. Kiki just like, you know, scratching the familiar cat's ears. Like, everything about this anime is just like eye candy, you know? It just feels good to look at. <laughs> Daughter of a noble family. Okay. And I'm assuming that pillar is the dungeon? Magia Vendor, the most powerful wizards, uphold the sky. They were talking about that. Sion before, he said, like, we'll never be a Magia Vendor, right? What? What is this? It's actually upholding the sky. Okay. This is some Tower of God lore. <laughs> Five wizards beat the celestial host. Okay. Now I wonder how true this is, right? Like, history is written by those who won, but like, I wonder if this is like a lie and some kind of conspiracy for mage supremacy. So, like, Magia Vendor still exists? Basically, a long time ago, these five great wizards, you know, defeated the celestial host or whatever and then cleared the sky. And now everyone, you know, kind of, like, um, wants to be, like, a Magia Vendor. But, um, obviously, if we can't use magic, how are we going to do that? I don't know. Like, maybe we're a sword mage, right? Ice Maiden's Wand. Oh, this is a Magia vendor? Wait. So she was a childhood friend of Will's. 
Am I correct to assume that she is a current Magia vendor? What did, what did she say? The Ice Maiden's Wand, Albus Vina, is watching over us today too. She is, right? She's a Magia vendor. She's right there. And she's a girl that was a childhood friend with Will a long time ago. Elfaria. Sword! So like, the sky is fake? I'm kind of confused. If we become Magia Vendor, maybe we can see the sunset. If we get close as we came to the sky at the top of the tower, it turns all kinds into bright red. What's more, on the other side of the sky... What do you mean other side of the sky? Like the current sky is fake? Like, like the, the sky right now, created by Magia Vendor right now, it's like... It's a it's like fake sky. And in order to like see beyond that, right? You want to see the real stars, like Tower of God. You want to climb to the top of the tower, see beyond it and see the sunset. And there's a book there in this ancient books like, you know, swordsmen, right? Important here, but now they denounce all swordsmen. Interesting lore. Okay. <laughs> Okay. One day we'll climb it together. She had magic, we didn't. Youngest ever. This is a better Rachel though. Little bit of Tower of God, a little bit of Kaiju 8 themes, right? Obviously, it's not the same, but I'm just like picking apart little themes of like tower climbing, a girl that left us. They didn't left us, but you know, it's like a better Rachel and then, you know, wanted to sign beside her after we we're, were washed and made that childhood dream. Okay. <laughs> what, just a scream? <laughs> Magical Academy <laughs> Professor. <laughs> He seems to actually care about us. The dusty ass room. Evil guard. Incredit. <laughs> they got a hand -take. Let's go. I mean, if all you have to do is climb to the top of the tower to become the Magia vendor, like, you don't need magic for that, right? Like, he can use his sword, so it's not like anyone can, like, you know. Strip him of that right. We get credit for killing those monsters, right? <laughs> That's some amazing paper flicking animation. Huh? Baskerville. Four credits? Oh. Who was eavesdropping? Ah, oh, this piece of shit was eavesdropping. He's gonna go there first. He eavesdropped, heard about the credit monster. He's about to go there. I hope this dude goes to try to kill the Baskerville, gets in trouble, and then Will just like saves him and we flex on him. Like, that would be so good. Oh, he's going there right now, right? Because, like, Workner is probably aware of how strong Will actually is with the sword. So he can recommend four credit monsters like that on the sixth floor. But this dude, I don't think, is on the same level as Will with the sword. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, oh, we got some informative transition scenes. So what do we got here? Will Serfort, race Rizant, Rizant, age 15, height 168, birthday 24th of Elm. What's that a fucking real month for us? Likes ice candy, dislikes medicinal moire herbs, first love. A girl he met when he was little, which is obviously the Magia vendor, right? The, um, the ice queen or whatever, the ice witch, the ice mage. Deepest dungeon floor cleared is the seventh floor. Equipment, Moria Silver Sword, Battle Guard Precision Crafted by Rosti, Promise Goggles. Those goggles are interesting. He always puts those on when he, you know, he uses a sword. Skill, sword strikes that can fend off even magic. So he has, you know, anti-magic sword, right? He came from the same orphanage as his childhood friend, Elfaria. So she's also an orphan. Being talentless, his inability to use magic has isolated him. But he is a warrior with the knack for close quarters combat. Workner has made a redaction on this page. What? 
Why? Why? Hmm. Interesting. But I, I do love transition scenes when they, you know, give us more information about stuff they have to anime. Lore on her? Where's my translation? This is this what work the redacted? Wait. Where is it? Why they skip this? They fucking whatever. She's a uh, 15. And she's 163 centimeters tall. Anything else? I can't read moon runes. GG. All right, sixth floor. What's wrong, Kiki? I hope Siri gets defeated by Baskerville. Yeah, big bro! You're so cool! You're the alpha of the group! I'll follow you everywhere, big bro! So we got the three idiot trio. It's not just gonna be him that gets humiliated. All three are gonna get cooked up by Baskerville. Good. Good! Ah, Oh, this, this one's actually a little bit aware. Ah, what'd you say? <laughs> Ooh. Ah, Shion elite. mistake. A leader of the pack, alpha of the group. You're the elite, dude. These two just glaze him. Holy. Shion ah, elite. Not real friends, man. Yet how could he be an honor student? Punch! Someone just died! <laughs> One of the friends just got punched! Okay! Oh, you are so cooked! Look at that speed, bro! The running animation! Oh, it's not a Baskerville. It's an evil sentinel. So it's not even like as strong as the monster as the Baskerville then? Oh, okay! It's a 10 credit monster! It's even stronger than Baskerville! Over five credits, I guess. Let him die. Let him die. Oh, yes. Suffer more. I love this. No, don't help him. Oh, come on. Just wait a little bit more. Let him, let him get killed first. But he's too good of a guy. I wonder if Sion is going to have a redemption, though. Right? Because, like, if we save his ass, there's two outcomes. Either he does a 180 and is like, Malish, right? Will Sama. Or he's going to be like, oh, this piece of shit thinks he can save me? You, what, you think I owe you a favor? And he doubles down on being evil, you know? Yeah? Wait, what? That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you. Because, like, I'm thinking, like, I would never save his ass, right? I mean, like, let him take a couple more steps, let him die, and then I cook his ass. But, like, oh. Will, he's too good of a character. He's going to save him. I, I'm, I'm glad at the very least he's, you know, thinking, like, questioning this, right? He's going to save him, but I'm, I'm just glad that they at least did that. Ask it fried. Who cares? Exactly, bro. You get what you fucking deserve. He's too good. What? Elfiana girl or something. The ice witch. That's why you'll save him now. Oh, she gave him the goggles. The promise goggles.
the shitty prof. <laughs> okay, that blasted whelp of a noble. All right, I kind of like that. Edward just shitting on Sion too. <laughs> Baskerville! Because he's there! Oh! <laughs> Dude, I fuck. Oh, cliche is like this is so hype. We're just like, well, don't worry about it. Why? Because he is there. So fast! That's an arm gone, baby? That's the true power of will. What do you think, Sion? Bakana. <laughs> okay, so Kiki's like familiar uh, gemstone linked with this thing. They have vision. They can see through Kiki. Bakana. Ariyanai. He's an irregular. <laughs> A door physic is actually robust? I didn't know about that. Oh, I've already seen that! Okay, so he adapts real quick. Yeah. Yo! One handed, he's picking that all. That guts great sword looking thing, one handed. Ooh. Cut the magic! Anti magic! Because it's almost Shinogu. So, let's try to understand this. Bro's got superhuman strength. He's got observation so good that he's basically Mahoraga. He can just adapt. His body is as robust as a dwarf. The only warrior in this world of magicians. But the sword right here was the sword that the Minotaur dropped, right? This sword was not ours, was it? Right? This is the thing that he, the monster, was cleaving with. And then we picked the sword up, meaning our anti-magic sword abilities is not bound to a weapon per se, but it's him. The character is anti-magic somehow with swordsmanship. He doesn't need a specific sword for this. Surpasses lightning! Now, if Shion is gonna continue shitting on Will after he sees all this, he is beyond redemption. Dude, come on. Oh, you piece of shit! Both, both, both Edward and Shion trash. Both them both trash. Kill him. We should have just let him die. What are you gonna do about it? Yo, that teacher's gonna fight the student next episode. Wonder what Shion said after. Cause he looked mad, but... 10 credits though, hey? 10 credits instead! <sighs> nice! Does that mean we pass? Yes. She's waiting for us? At the top of the tower? Ooh. Wistoria. Wand and sword. And that is today's episode of... Wistoria and wow like damn dude like this is like one of the best enemies I've seen this season there's a lot of other fun ones we've been seeing but like the polish on this is next level man like damn should I say it's comparable to Euphotable animation maybe I'm wrong but like compared to other enemies we're seeing this season 
in terms of pure animation quality, I think this is like number one, right? And on top of that, it's not just the animation. It's the whole setup, Magic Academy Institute, a main character that's not able to use magic gets bullied, you know, but he has the one thing that surpasses magic. Everything about these cliches, I just love in a power fantasy show. Will is a being that has no magic for whatever reason, but with the skills that he had with swordsmanship, he can counter magic. None of the shit matters. He can become magic vendor. Now, there's some, you know, uh, rules like, you know, you need these different, you know, scores from different magical aptitude tests and stuff that's kind of holding him back. But it looks like as long as we can keep, you know, farming the credits from these dungeon monsters, we can, you know, reach that status. And all we have to do is climb to the top of the tower. There's another really important character who is the elf, elf girl, right? Elfie. She's like an orphan as well with Will, same orphanage. She became the world's fastest, youngest Magia vendor. And now she's kind of just waiting for Will. Who knows if she's going to descend from the tower and like, you know, if she descended from the tower and like, she like, uh, what's the word? Like, talk to Will in front of every other student. Man, would they know their place? Would they ever know their place? Edward is still so insecure and elite that he won't let this happen, right? He's just so upset at Will. He might even start a fight with Will next episode. But Xion, I'm not completely sure, right? The ending reaction of Xion was helplessness and being upset to the point where he bit his own, you know, mouth to bleed. Is he upset at his own lack of, you know, strength? Is he just upset at Will? Is he going to be corrected? I'm not sure. But the, the more that he doesn't get redeemed faster, the more, you know, we can, like, just flex out and have amazing moments like this. First episode... This is like 9 out of 10, right? Like, I really enjoy this. I just hope and I just wish that this show is going to get the performance that it deserves on YouTube. And at the end of the day, in the game of YouTube algorithm, right? It doesn't matter how good a show is. As long as, you know, my audience clicks on it to watch it or not, that's what determines it. So if it does well, we will continue. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.